shake the grounds you stand on. A tale to end all tales. A tale so remarkable, it can hardly be believed. All right, where are you? Are you talking to us? Yes, yes, I am. Why did you say so? Well, who did you think I was talking to myself? You do that sometimes. I've heard you talk to yourself plenty of times. And you talk in your sleep, too. I've heard that, too. All I can hear when Hop is asleep is snoring. Oh, yeah! I do not snore! Right! We're way off the subject. I want to tell you a story of courage and perseverance and action. So let's get started! Uh, no buts! Just because we're hobgoblins does not mean we get to be rude. It doesn't? No! Now sit quietly. We are going to have a little hobnob. Listen to the tale I have to tell. You have to tell us and you have to listen? Enough! It goes like this. Once upon a parsley. What? Oops, that's not right. Once upon a sage. Excuse me? No, that's not right either. Once upon a rosemary? This makes no sense. Wait, I got it. Once upon a time. Whoa. What's wrong with that? Sage, parsley, parsley. Rosemary. 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 rosemary and thyme? I just wanted to spice things up a little bit. Oh. <sighs> Moving on. I wanted to tell you the story of the Snow Queen. I see through and through. She's often seen in snowstorms. Surrounded by snow bees. Or if the snow is especially fluffy, a flurry of fluffy snow chickens. Snow chickens? And there's her yeti. You know, the abominable snowman. I once saw a snow chicken sitting on a fence post, and I thought I might catch one, so I reached out to grab it. But it disappeared into a great big puff of snow. I guess you could say it flew the coop. <laughs> now anyway, my story might be called the Snow Queen, but she's not the star of my story. where many incredible tales do, in a palace for a prince and princess. What do you palace? <laughs> a palace fit for a royal court. Must not go out at night. Who? 
Who, who? Why, you know who? Oh, very funny. Good one, Prince. What about you, Buffalo? I don't remember stomping on him. Thank goodness. Hey, the angel, have you seen him? No. Nope. Maybe you should ask the mirror sad reflection. <gasps> it shows many things that are usually unseen. Yes, let me show you what I see. No, don't do that. The mirror is part of the problem. It only shows lies and distorted pictures. Gerda, look into the mirror. What do you see? I see Kay tending his roses. Wait, it's changing. Now what do you see? I see dry ground, dead plants, and darkness. And I can't look anymore. It steals my hope. Don't say I didn't try to help. I don't think we need that kind of problem. Well, Pope Princess, you are very wise. We will find another way to help good. Wait, what am I doing? I don't want to get ahead of myself. This is all very interesting, but it happens much later in the story. Let's go back to the beginning before Kay was lost. before anything went wrong. I think I see Kay's grandma coming now. Let's set the scene. Right, boss? OK, I need a table right here. I need some flowers over here. I need a chair or two over here. And I... How about you go be a flower? What do we do? Why, you're the picket fence, of course. Now, if you squint your eyes and you look over there, you'll see some very important characters to our story. This is Kay and Kay's grandmother. Kay's grandmother used to tell Kay and his best friend Gerda scary stories about the Snow Queen and her castle of ice. Gerda's grandma would make sure there was plenty of hot cocoa for the story times. Look! Now, children. You must remember not to challenge the Snow Queen if you see her. Many youngsters have gone missing in a storm, never to be seen again. I don't believe in an icy Snow Queen that peers in her windows and paints on the glass. Why not, Kay? Someone makes those amazing frost crystal panes of glass. Shoo, shoo, get the goose out of my house. Ha 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 ha! Well, what kind of treatment is this? I'm a very important goose. You be careful what you believe, my boy. For the Snow Queen loves to toy with regular folks like us. Do not tempt fate. I'm not. I just don't think this has to do with us. It has to do with us. You should listen to your grandma, Kay. Listen to your grandma, Kay. Oh, let her come. I'll set her on the stove and watch her ma Oh, I think I've listened to enough. Come on, Gerda. Let's go play in the garden. Don't forget your cocoa. Forget your cocoa! So you see that Kay didn't believe everything he was hearing, but soon he would have to believe his own eyes. What a great day! Yep, and we get the whole day to share. The roses are doing well. That's because you've been taking such good care of them.
that moment, the Snow Queen broke the mirror of sound reflection and blew fragments of the broken mirror into the air and sent them flying at the family. This is a terrible development. The mirror of sound reflection has horrible qualities. Let me tell you something about that mirror. It can take everything good and beautiful and reflect it as bad and ugly. It can make the most beautiful landscape look like boiled spinach. Ew! Kay's grandma was safe, and Gerda and her grandma were safe, but Kay was caught trying to save their precious roses. A shard of that malicious mirror touched his eye so that he could no longer see the good in the world. Another pierced his heart so that he became cold and could no longer feel emotions like friendship, only cold and darkness. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. I have done my work. Come, Kay, you are my creature now. Say goodbye to all that you have known. After Kay and the Snow Queen left, the sun She must have taken him. No, he has just gotten lost in the storm. He'll find his way home soon. I must go find him. He must be scared and frightened. Beware mm. of the snow queen. Here's my chocolate, Gerda. Don't be late for dinner. Little did Gerda's grandmother know she would miss many, many dinners on her quest to find Kay. She could not imagine what road she might take, but she bravely strode out in search of her friend. I must go find Kay. I know. I will question the creatures I meet ahead. Here they come now. The first arrival that she met was a snow leopard. Not exactly known for its good intentions. Have you seen a boy about this tall? I can't say I have. Thank you for your help. I can't say I have, but I do have some advice. Give up your friend. He's beyond help. I cannot and I will not. <laughs> Next she asked the rascally rabbit. Sure, I've seen him. He went that way. She stumbled upon a lost reindeer. I haven't seen anybody like that. She asked some grumpy bears. Why bother us? Besides, we care very little about lost boys. She asked some sly foxes. Sure, we can help you. But, but what's in it for us? She asked the brusque buffalo. Our full day plan of no time for you. <laughs> she asked the wise old owl. Who the safest thing for you to do is to go home and wait for him there. Gerda wouldn't hear of that. Kay was counting on her. Finally, she asked a silly goose. Well, I declare this is the funniest thing I ever heard. Ha ha! any help. Even if they had seen Kay, they wouldn't say. I must go find Kay. Gerda wouldn't give up. She soon came to a river. Hey, a river! <laughs> oh no! She feared that Kay might have fallen into the river, so she asked the river. River, do you know my friend Kay? And the river responded. No! Maybe if I go further out in the river, on this boat, a boat! I will have more luck. River, do you have Kay? We already told you! No! River, where are you taking me? Away she was swept by the rushing water until finally, Gerda's boat came to the bank of the river, where she jumped off! I'm so glad you've come! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Gerda had arrived in the garden. The garden! Of a remarkable woman who seemed to know more than she was saying. I'm on a journey to find my friend, Kay. Yes, yes, Kay, have you seen him? No, but I think it's best if you forget about him and your journey. Stay here in my garden. There are so many different flowers to see and smell here. Try this one.
future. <laughs> Why am I here? To help me, to help me with my garden. to smell the flower. To help me with my garden. Oh, okay. The gardener woman was not her friend. She would do anything so the gardener would forget all about Kay and stay in this garden forever. Forever. But one thing saved her. She noticed that one kind of flower was missing. Where are they? I can't find them. Hey, what's up? What can't you find? The flower, the rose, the red ones. I can almost remember roses. There aren't any roses. The absence of the roses that Kay and Gerda had cared for was enough to bring back all of the things that she had forgotten and put her on the right path. You are not my friend. Goodbye. The exit's that way. Thank you. <laughs> Again, Gerda set out, determined to find Kay. So at this point, you're probably wondering where Kay is, am I right? It's okay, ask me, ask me where Kay is. Where's Kay? I'm so glad you asked me that, because right now, Kay is being whisked away to the Snow Queen's castle. <laughs> Well, but there was some 
confusion when she was asked about Kay. Didn't you say there's a boy that came to see the princess? Married a princess? Yes, he is very nice. About this tall? That would be him. Why would he marry a princess? Could you take me to him? Sure. As soon as it gets dark, hoot like a hoot owl. What if I call like a crow? Okay, that might be easier. And so it was that Gerda and the two crows snuck into the palace and surprised the princess who was sleeping. somewhere else. I'm sorry we couldn't help you. Let's call the kingdom together to ask about your friend. Of course not. Gerda invited her crow friends to come along and they said it would be their pleasure. 
One thing about crows, though, when the going gets tough, they get going. What a lovely wood. A lovely wood. We're in a wood here! That's better. Yes. What a lovely wood. Lovelier. Hold it right there. Who says? Who? Who? Who indeed? Show yourself. It is I, the old robber woman. And the little robber girl. Wait, come back. Don't leave me now. See, what did I tell you about girl? <laughs> Please don't hurt me, old rubber woman and little rubber girl. Rubber woman, rubber. Rubber girl. Not rubber? Rubber, rubber, rubber. rubber. We steal from the rich and keep it. Just like the famous bandit. Robber Hood. I think you mean Robin Hood. And his man band. His rubber band? Get out with this rubber band thing. Now get this straight. We're only going to say this once. We're robbers. Okay, I think I've got it now. Although I did want a rubber chicken once. Huh? As you can see, these thieves were a burly bunch of characters, starting with their leader, the old robber woman, all the way down to the little robber girl. I'm Greta, and I'm searching for my friend Kay. Okay. Yes, yes, Kay, have you seen him? No, I was just saying okay isn't all right. Oh. What we have here? The old robber woman was referring to the money that the prince and princess had given to Gerda to help her along her way. We can help you. We can lighten your load by relieving you of your money. Come on, let's go capture shares in the robber's cave. Let's bring the girl along for luck. Watch out for that buffalo. I wouldn't want to step on you. Do you have any money after all? Just nickel. I'll take it. Buffalo nickels are quite valuable. Man. To the cave! 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 You have to pay more attention. Received your payment and paid the debt. 
All except for one. So, I guess this is yours then. Yes, and thank you. Now, what should we do with all this money? Maybe we should go out to dinner. We, we can! You're broke! broke! You should really be more careful with your money. <laughs> Did you forget something? I don't think so. Where's my share? One for you. As your lieutenant, I get half. Half of what? Half of what you get. And what did I get? I just said at least ten robbers give you one coin apiece. And half of which is five, so you owe me five. I do. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, someone just now fox the fox. Did someone say fox? I feel bad for Gerda, though. What about Gerda? She just got robbed. <gasps> you should have asked me to dig a fox hole to hide the money. And I could have tricked them to give it back. I don't care about the money. I just want to find my friend. And I won't stop until I find him. You and your whole gang can't keep me here. Now that the crows are gone, I have no one to show me the way. I know the way. But I won't show you. Why not? Because I want you to stay here and be my friend. I can't. I have to find Kay. We know a way. Just think like a fox. So it was. The Gerda planned an escape from the robber's roost. She planned and watched so that one night she tiptoed out of the cave. What's your question? Is this K fellow worth it? What do you mean? Is K worth all the trouble you're going through to find him? Yes, I know him to be a good friend, and he would do the same for me. In that case, I will help you. What do you need? I don't know where to go. Can you help me find a way? I don't know where to find him either, but I may know someone that can help. She's a Finnish old woman that knows many things. If you can find her, she will help you find K. You will need a guy. You who Bay. I will send Bay with you. Bay is in bad company for a reindeer. Thank you. And so it was that Gerda continued to get help in the strangest of ways to continue her quest. As they left the woods, the little robber girl not only gave Gerda directions and a guide to find the Finnish woman, but she also gave her something even more valuable. Hope. Hope that she would someday see Kay again. Pleased to meet you. I am Bay. Bay the reindeer. Hurry, Bay, I'm scared for Kay. Away we go! That's a circle. You won't get anywhere like that. You're right. This way. Again, Gerda and Bay set out on their quest. It was about to get much harder, though. You know who was in the way. And you're just a lowly abominable snowman. Abominable snowman. Yes, my queen, I'm sorry, my queen. That's better. Are we there yet? See? <laughs> oh, that was awful. What? I mean, awfully clever, my queen. What do you think, Kay? Is it a good day for a blizzard? We can never have too much snow, my queen. Bring on. No chickens, for I will stir up a storm that nobody can find their way through. Not even a reindeer. Don't you think you've pestered that poor little girl enough? What little girl? Oh, nobody. I'm just going to go pester a reindeer. Why do I keep wondering about a lost friend? It must be cold freezing, I think, Kay. Yes, yes. That's it. Isn't that right, Yeti? If you say so, my queen. Here they come, time for blizzard.
This is how Gerda found Kay and knew that he was alive. And at least knew that they needed to go to the Snow Queen's castle to find him. How much further is it? Too far, I fear. You should give up. I won't, no matter what you say. The bears may not have to talk about. We might freeze before we get there. No, I advise to help it. Come, dear. Do you have some nice warm tea for you? What about me? I have some nice warm grass for you to chew on back at my house. You know the blackfish woman lives close by. Sure, there is. I can go to the this is how Gerda and Bay got out of a tight spot. The nice lavish woman invited them to come into her house to get out of the cold. We need a house here! <laughs> they soon found themselves warming up by the fire. A fire! Fire, 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 fire. Fire. <laughs> a bigger fire! That's better. Now, just warm up and tell me all about your story. Are you and your reindeer just passing through? Well, I was gonna take her to the Finnish woman's house. Do you know where it is? Oh, uh, yeah, I know her. Just point your nose straight north and walk till the sun sets. The Snow Queen kidnapped her friend. And I won't stop until I find him. Well, you certainly sound determined, dear. I'm afraid I can't help you. Find the Snow Queen's castle. I don't know where it is. But you could go visit the finisher woman's house. I know where it is. Just walk north. We better be going, Ben. Already? I was just starting to my clothes again. Yes, right now. I'm afraid it might be too late. Let's go. Into the cold they strode, one foot in front of the other, until the sun began to set. I'm going to, we're looking for the Finnish woman's house. Do you know where it is? At the next stop, I take a left, then a right, then a left, left, and then to the right. Stop, light! Please, won't you just show us? I was only kidding. You're standing in front of her house right now. And there, standing in front of them, was another house. Another house! <laughs> With a different floor plan. And out from the door came the powerful Finnish woman. No, I'm afraid not. I'm not going out there. Wait, what do you mean you're not going out there? We got all go out there. But they came a long way to see you. So? So you mean to send them away? That's not fair. Please help us. You think that there's something warm in my hope? They might at least knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Say the reindeer and get up. The girl. Sorry, don't know any reindeer. What? Only kidding. Come in, come in. So the two entered the screechy door, the extremely screechy door, and sat down next to the Finnish woman to see what she might know about Kay's whereabouts. As it turned out, she knew all about Kay, the mirror, the Snow Queen, and their journey thus far. We're looking for the Snow Queen's castle. Do you know where it is? They came! Oh, I, we, I came. We came. I know. And I met. Ooh. We came to ask for my help. And, and I'd be happy to advise you, but I must ask, why? Why are you on this journey? You have no assurance that you will be successful. Where does your courage come from? What keeps you striving towards your goal? Do you know? I think it is because I must. Every obstacle to this point has been overcome, and I can overcome the next one and the next as long as I have strength. I could you give you the strength of ten yetis, and no, not easy task, what a path you have set yourself on, for you have all the strength and determination you need within you. I do? You must believe in yourself. If you do, then nothing is impossible. Thank you. You should rest now. Tomorrow you will find the Snow Queen and Kay. Gerda was so excited she could barely contain it. Meanwhile, back at the Snow Queen's castle. Her frostiness was practicing a new freezing touch. It was not a good day to be in the Snow Queen's court. Zuck! Wait, where do you think you are going? Who? Nobody here. Zo! 
is fun. <laughs> Ugly, dirty animals, they deserve to be frozen. One more down. Stampede! Zap! So much for your stampede. Ah, make it a run for it. Zap! You didn't even saw you, did you? Quick, I can't hold on to these bears for much longer. Hold on to them, Kate. Zap! Zap! I see you over there. You are hiding behind the goose. I'm getting out of here. I'm with you. Wait for me, huh? Zap! Then zap! Ding! Got him to the ricochet. One more down. I'll get back to you. See how I can pound some down out of your grass? Oh, hello, Yeti. I forgot to dodge you, didn't I? Yes, I guess you could say that. What do you want me to do with this one, my queen? Bring the leopard to me. Now, beg. Please don't feed me, Majesty. I will. Zap! That was no near good. You should really work on your begging technique. What are you doing? Stop this at once. Oh, what? You have no power to stop me. But this is where the Snow Queen was wrong. For Gerda had such a steadfast determination that I doubt anything could stop her. The Yeti tried distracting Gerda so the Snow Queen could freeze her. You're too small to stop the Yeti. And indeed that might be true if they were going to arm wrestle. But Gerda proved oh. to be too fast for this oh. man. Soon you'll need eyes to go like many others in this courtyard. Zap! My queen! It was at this moment that the Snow Queen called on her secret weapon, the terrible snow chickens! They and the reindeer distracted the fluffy invaders until they sat down in a harmless blanket of Recognize Gerda. Hey, I found you at last. I don't know you. Go away and leave me alone. With that, Gerda's heart began to break. It was breaking, but it was also strong. For Gerda had committed herself to finding Kay, but now that she had, he no longer even knew her. This was the moment that she must overcome, but how? Every part of her wanted to wrestle Kay from the mirror's grasp, but it was her eyes that welled up with the powerful memory of friendship, and she began to cry. With a full heart, she walked up to Kay, and she said, Please remember, Kay, try. And just like that, the icy castle started to melt. First, the animals that the Snow Queen froze melted, and then the castle itself. People came from far and wide to see what or who had caused the stronghold of the Snow Queen to crumble. It is the power in the human heart that melts the cold and shadows. Finally, as all stood in awe, the shards of the mirror that had so twisted Kay's mind arrived, and then they were washed away by Gerda's tears. And at last, Kay awoke as if from some dark, cold, menacing dream. Gerda, Gerda, is that you? Why so sad, my friend? These are tears of joy. So glad to see you at last. I'm afraid you've missed quite a bit, Kay. Don't worry, I'll catch you up. And there you have it. Gerda accomplished her quest, Kay remembered who he was, and the whole land was free from ice and snow. At least for a little while. So, my hobgoblin friends, You have helped me tell this story, and now I'm wondering what you may have learned from it. Never give up. Never surrender. To have true friends, you must be a true friend. Each of us is stronger than we think. 
Have confidence that if you try, you can. Help my calm when you least expect it. Just because the road is blocked doesn't mean the road is blocked. Huh? Oh, stop! This is just the kind of positivity I can't stand. Believe in yourself. Stay the course. Ah! Follow your heart. Ah! Don't be afraid to try. Difficulties can make us stronger. Ah! Perseverance is underrated. I give up. I give up. My dear Snow Queen, haven't you been listening to our story? You can give up. You must keep trying. Yes, and I see your point, and that's all well and good, but what about my poor castle? It melted. I think I have a solution, though. It's time for another winter storm. Nature. So I say, Bye. Bye.